Welcome to this episode of Land Efficient TV. Just put the C Pro up, got back from Louisiana. It's January, it's a little cold. Actually, I'm in Nature Coast right now and it was in the 20s last night. So hopefully y'all enjoy this episode. I went down to Louisiana to guide for a couple days for some regular clients of mine. And we started out with high pressures all over us. So I turned straight to the speckled trout and we put 60, 70 of them in the boat the first day. But customers came to me at the end of the day and said, look, we got two more days and uh, we would rather catch zero redfish and try for them all day than catch limits of speckled trout. We catch speckled trout at our camp in Horseshoe Bend and all this. So I said, well, let's do it. So this on this episode, I headed out with a game plan of where I was gonna go, fish outside of some ponds and different things I was gonna do. And when I got there, I literally didn't even slow the boat down. I might've slowed down about 20. And, and I made a decision of where I was gonna go. Something came to my head, I thought about something, and I said, I'm gonna take a gamble. So we made another 15 mile run to another area. And I'll explain to you why I did it later on the episode and also what the circumstances were that caused it. This is not an episode about what baits to use because these fish were hitting top waters, any kind of lure you threw at them. You could have sighted them a million miles away, corks, shrimp, you name it, they were hitting it. So that, this is not about what they would eat. They were eating anything. These fish were hungry, they were in big schools. This is about why I did what I did at the time of the year I did it and the result. So stay tuned, enjoy the episode, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and give us a like, thumbs ups really help us, allows us to make more videos, and uh, hope you all enjoy this one. bluebird sky mornings. If you look off to the left, you'll see where there's a pond back there. That pond was less than a foot deep. And we were sitting right on the shelf where it dropped off to about a foot and a half to two feet. And those fish were stacked up.
riding anywhere and I'm using popping corks, I always try and have some live feed on the boat. And today we had some Campo's live shrimp. You can see the water is super low. The oyster bar is sticking out the water. And if you look in the back, you can even see the crab pots are completely dry that would normally be underwater. Those fish had nowhere to go but to come out of this pond. And I'm explaining to you why they didn't go any further than that. These fish were schooled up so tight and coming in so fast that all we could do is throw them on the floor. It was crazy. It was just one after another after another. So I'm going to tell you why those redfish were there in that one area, in that one spot. Anytime you're down by the Gulf of Mexico and you get into the winter months, the dolphins out there don't have a lot of food to feed on. They lose a lot of the bait. The pelicans move inshore up towards the docks and things like that. So then the redfish becomes the main diet of a dolphin. When the water gets real low. Those fish have to come out the pond. And when that time of the year comes around for those dolphin, those redfish are going to stay as shallow as they possibly can. So if you can find a pond that has a drop off on the front edge, and you get about as shallow as a bay boat will go, two feet or less, you will find those fish. Normally you can see them, what they call boiling. They'll boil up. And you can kind of ease your way in. And my process is to slowly work my way in, boat length by boat length, just drifting in, cast a little bit, slot a little bit more in, until I find the edge of those fish so I don't spook them. And once you're on them, it's game on. These marshes of Louisiana are loaded with all kinds of species as from sheephead to redfish to speckled trout to even some bass as you can see right there and a flounder right behind it. Thank you to Captain Seth and Captain Sean for helping us out this day with this three boat trip. It was a heck of a catch.